Lauren, you were involved in a public speaking competition, amongst many others. Tell us how it all came about and how you got on. Well, there was a workshop last year, and there was a whole class of our doing the workshop. And basically there was a lot of techniques going on. They taught us a lot of different things, how to do speaking. And then in the end they gave us a topic and you had to do a speech about it. And they, in the end they gave six of us a chance to go through to regional finals. And a few weeks later we did speaking for the speech that we just done. And two of us got through to the regional finals which happened on May the 21st, and we were up against a lot of other schools. <laughs> must have been nerve-wracking the actual regional finals. Yes, it was very nerve-wracking. Halfway during the day we went to the place and one of us was to de definitely do the speaking and then the other one was a kind of sub for the speaking. And in the end, out of all the subs, they chose two uh, subs to do the speaking. The boy from our school um, got to speak as well, so that was very good. But yeah, before getting up there, it was the most nervous thing. Kept going over and over the speech, but it was like, you need to stop. So you mentioned from your workshops here at William Edwards, what, what were the, and you mentioned techniques. What, what were the techniques that you, that you learned and developed? They taught us a lot about how to, you, the way you need to present yourself when you're standing there. You can't keep going, um, ah, uh, you know, you've got to keep being fluent. Even if you mess up, you need to just carry on. And, I mean, there was a lot of different techniques and got a booklet and we can still keep those so we've got all the techniques if we ever need to use them for English speeches or speeches in jobs. And what was your, what was your role? Um, I was there for the day, the Jack Petchy speaking day. Um, I got to really build up and uh, get better in my speaking techniques and stuff. Um, I really enjoyed that day. I think I got a lot out of it and so did many others. I think it was important that the people that were chosen to take part in the day weren't just the ones that excelled. Um, in speaking, it, it was the people chosen were those that thought has had quite a long way to go, but would enjoy the day and get a lot out of it. So you had people that really kind of struggled with confidence and stuff like that. But throughout the day, and the uh, two men that came to help out, they were brilliant. They really helped, and I mean, some of the people, I think, they wouldn't imagine being able to stand in front of sixty people and be able to speak, but they managed to do it, and I think it was great for them. And the two of you, is it right, you're both members of the student executive? Yeah, we yeah. Are. So does that, does that help in that being able to, you know, as a group, discuss things and, and, and speak to each other and, and I guess, you know, uh, it's interpersonal skills, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, because we do a lot of assemblies where the student is fold and obviously there's a lot of people in the school, so you need some kind of technique, you need some kind of presentation to be able to do speaking in assemblies as well. And it helps in group discussions as well, definitely. I think just the way that we communicate with one another a lot better and that's the sort of thing that we've we really have improved I think over the past years yeah. it's been really good just the mannerisms and stuff students who went through the public speaking uh, process through the, you know, the Jack Petchy speak out and you've been to one workshop so far yeah just the one how'd it go it was definitely very good you, we did learn a lot from it because obviously there are everyone has some skill in public speaking but this definitely did give me the opportunity to learn a lot more than I already did because there are certain techniques that I've heard professional speakers use now and I think that's going to be a valuable life skill. And so what have you learned so far? Well you need to be very still when you're talking you need, or either you've got two options, you can either be very expressive with your arms or stay still but I think you can't just sit there and fidget all the time, that's the main thing. Um, a lot of eye contact is always a good idea for this and generally be yourself because an audience can smell a, li a liar and a fake quite easily. Do you agree with that Lucy? Yeah, definitely. That's, that's one of the key points they talked to us about on the workshop. It was sort of um, how we presented ourselves when we spoke and so that we really believed in what we were talking about and how the audience perceived what we were discussing. Because there was an article in the papers this week saying that most teenagers just say have a very restricted vocabulary full of LOL, LMAO in it, uh, that's well sick. But you're saying that, in fact, you're bucking the trend, so to speak, and are very much an expressive, articulate group of young people, is that right? Yeah, definitely. I think as, as we progress through school and we learn more about it, um, we sort of learn the vocabulary that will be key to us in future life, and it definitely helped with the workshop. 
um, also watching all the others do their speeches as well because you can learn from other people as well as just doing it yourself. So what happens next with the workshops? Um, well we go on to like another sort of competition thing with um, other schools in the borough I think and then two of us out of the four that were chosen will go through and then we'll have like a final and then one of us hopefully will win the speak out competition. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.